All right, so I'm back again, and I am now ready to start installing my skylight. Oh, so I got the Dometic Mini Hecky style, whatever. It's a skylight. I always knew that skylights have a tendency to leak. So when I was looking up how to install this thing, I found out that you don't actually screw through the roof. You use adhesive to kind of glue it to the roof and then using the bottom piece, it like clamps onto the ceiling. So part of the reason that these leaks happen, and I don't know if this is the only reason, but I'm putting two and two together, that part of the reason that leaks happen is because uh, when they make the mold, they use a releasing agent on it to help it like easily come out of the mold. Problem is that releasing agent stays there and that means that things won't stick to it like adhesives. So I looked up some ways to maybe remove the layer of releasing agent. Uh, I found a couple of options and I've tried out a couple and it seems like uh, at least between dish soap and acetone, acetone seems to work pretty well. And then I'm using a sandpaper sponge to kind of rough it up just a little bit and it definitely feels noticeably rougher where I have treated it and where I have not. So that's good. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing there and then we will move on. So I am just using some regular old acetone and I'm just kind of pouring it onto this cloth here. I am doing this outside so that I can stay nice and ventilated. There's a channel going around which is where the adhesive is designed to go. So that's kind of where I am focusing my acetone and then so I'm just kind of rubbing it on here first and then I'm taking I just bought like a little sandpaper sponge I could have used regular sandpaper I didn't <laughs> I don't know why I picked this but whatever it seems to be working relatively well now, I'm definitely making sure that I'm getting into all the channels here but I think I'm going to end up having some adhesive on this little lip here as well. So I'm going ahead and taking care of that too. Basically, I'm just doing that all the way around. This feels really smooth and that's what this part did feel like, but now it feels nice and rough. So I think that means that I have roughed this up enough and I think this will be ready for adhesive. So I am ready to tape where the hole is going to be. But first I need to use the little adapter that I have to figure out approximately where this is going to go um, so that I can drill a couple of placement holes so that I can take this baby under the roof. So all I'm going to do literally is just drill a hole the farthest forward that I want the hole to go because I need to make sure that I still have space for the mount underneath like the trim and I don't want it to get close to this beam right here. I know a lot of people like to drill the four corners but because I have this thing, I'm gonna draw it up on the roof rather than trying to figure it out down here. Unfortunately, I didn't know I was gonna be putting my skylight here. So I have this kill mat here. I tried to pull it off, but it does not pull off very nicely. So that's all right. I'm gonna hope that that doesn't affect my jigsaw too much. So all I'm gonna do now is tape this up so that it catches all of my shavings and then we're gonna head to the roof. So the first thing that I did when I got up here, as you can probably see, is clean the area. What I am going to do now is set my adapter in the middle so that I know exactly where it is going to go and where center is. These adapters are really nice, I have to say. It's making this part of my job, like, so easy. I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to try to trace it as close as I can to the actual edge. Down. And then what I'll do is just double check my lines when I'm done and make sure that it is in fact 40 centimeters, which is 400 millimeters, which is like 15 and three quarter inches. Looks like that is exactly 40 there. Okay, so I need to cut pretty much right on the line. Uh, what I did realize that I did not bring up here with me is my masking tape. So I'm going to do that next and then we'll drill our corner holes and then cut this thing out. Okay. 
and we are going to take this oh so slowly and we're going to cut this out and away we go and yes i am absolutely wearing glasses I missed this little corner here and a little bit of this corner and a little bit of this corner because um, corners are hard. Um, so I'm gonna try to get those corners real quick. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, that goes in. All right, so I'm gonna try it one more time, but with this thing so that I can make super sure that I'm doing this correctly. I think that's good. Okay, so I am going to get my file and file these edges, and then I'm gonna hit it with the Rust-Oleum on the exposed metal. Oh, this is crazy. So we are back. I'm in a different location because the light that I was using, first of all, as you can see, it got really dark. Sorry about the freeway noise. I'm at the Bass Pro Shop. But that's because they have lights here, so I'm parked underneath one of those lights. I am gonna be using Window Weld now to attach the adapter. One of the things I noticed last time I used this, that has this little like can opener thing at the bottom, and you really do open it like a can opener. And now I can fit it into my caulking gun after I cut the tip and puncture the seal. This adapter did not come with instructions like the last ones did, which is weird. I'm like, pretty sure it's from the same people. But it's made out of the same exact material, so I'm going to assume that the instructions are about the same. So I'm going to make three beads or three lines of this stuff around the adapter, and I'm just going to stick it on. Now I'm going to make sure that I do it the right way. The fat part goes to the back. It looks pretty on there. Alright, so this takes 15 minutes. If I remember correctly, to dry and then it cures overnight. And that should be it for tonight. So I put the framing up here. I used two by twos this time for the frame underneath. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this up so that I can get back on the top and trace out a hole so I can cut a hole in this because it's gonna go up right here and then I'm gonna put some pretty stuff on top of it and have sort of like an accent part of the ceiling. <laughs> all right, so masking tape didn't hold at all. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was able to wedge these two boards in there and that's, good. I think, gonna hold it up. So I'm gonna go to the roof and trace out a square. So I think that went well undo my pointless tape you know it's not the prettiest box i've ever drawn but it'll do with board this thin i wonder if i can just use my knife i'm gonna try it because i accidentally left my jigsaw in the storage unit but i don't want to go get it because it's hot and i don't want it so hopefully i can cut this with a knife we're gonna find out it's a brand new knife, so maybe it'll work really well. No, that's not gonna work. Well, I tried. I'm gonna go get my jigsaw. And fight off this fly. And that's not centered. I just realized that. That's not centered at all. I'll just move that square over to the actual center. Fun fact, jigsaw works way better. All right, that wasn't too bad. And this is way more centered. So this is ready to put up. I wonder if I should go ahead and put the decorative stuff onto it first. Let me think on that for a minute and I will be back to do something. So all I did there was just score it so that now I can cut it. 
rather easily. I don't care if this is super perfect because it's going to be covered with the trim. All right, and then let me check my work. It's not perfect, but again, it'll be covered by trim. I like it. It is hot out. I'm just taking a little break right now and then I'll get the plywood up. Then I'm going to glue the decorative stuff on top of it. Then we're going to finish the skylight install. I'm going to get the plywood up. First, I'm just gonna nail it in with little bitty nails because once I screw the cover on, that's gonna really like screw it in. And then later when I have ceiling planks, that's also gonna help hold it in. Additionally, I don't want any of my, I don't wanna put any nails in this. So this will then just get glued onto the plywood. So one thing I did do, because this is gonna be screwed into the frame that I'm making, or that I made. So I wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally put any nails where my screws need to go. And I just realized these are two different sizes. Yeah, that's weird. I did not know that. I have to figure out which way this goes. So I'm just noticing that these edges are thinner than these edges. I'm thinking these are going to be the sides most likely, but I will double check that. But more importantly, I just want to make sure that I don't put any nails where screws will have to be later because that would be super annoying. I may only be able to nail up here at the very front. You know what? Just in case, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just have these itty bitty little nails. I'm just going to use it with a hammer. Super easy. This looks absolutely terrible, but I'm gonna have trim there. All right, now what I need to do is glue these pieces onto here, and then I'll actually be able to install the skylight. I'm actually using spray adhesive. It says to use tube adhesive, but this stuff is awesome, and I'm gonna have other things holding this in place. This is easier, <laughs> so I'm gonna use this. I'm just using this following the instructions. So I'm spraying onto this first, then onto the panel, letting it get tacky, and then sticking it up there. And for all the parents out there, I have my door open. I have applied this spray adhesive generously. Now, I stick it up here. Make sure it's even with the other one. And up it goes. I kind of thought I was going to have to like clamp this in place, but nope. So I am now ready to actually install this thing. So what I'm going to do first is apply the butyl tape and then that's just going to go all around the edges here. And then I'm just going to stick it on and then that'll be it for up here until I'm ready to seal it. I'm not going to seal it until like with the lap sealant until I'm finished installing the vent as well so that I can just do it all at once. This should be pretty easy. I shouldn't say that. Every time I say that, it's not easy. I'm just gonna do it. Well, <laughs> I got this seated on here. Nothing special to it. I literally just set it down. It looks like it's raised up ever so slightly because of the beetle tape, which hopefully will be fixed when I clamp it down with the bottom mounting piece. Either way, I am definitely going to be sealing around these edges as well as around this because I want to be sure as much as possible that I do not have any links. But check this out. So now, oh my God, my eyes. Oh, I'm so dirty. I'm so dirty. Anyways, let's go down and get the rest of this thing installed. Okay, so I had put this up to here and kind of determined that it doesn't matter which way I put it. It will just make a difference of when I put on the shade, which direction the shade will go. I think maybe having the shade go side to side would be better. The other thing I am noticing is I'm gonna have a pretty large gap between this and this. Hopefully that's not too big of a problem. I didn't think this was like that thick. It's only like two inches. Yeah, unless this clamps down pretty significantly, I might be in some trouble. Oh yeah, it's like half an inch on this side. Oh my God, maybe even more. I'm gonna read the instructions one more time before I do this. Well, I didn't see anything super interesting there. So, 
So I'm gonna start with the screws that mount into the skylight itself. Oh, I hope it's even gonna be long enough to catch it. Oh my God. It might not be. Oh, I might be in some trouble. I have a problem. The ceiling's too thick. Oh boy. Well, this is unfortunate. Um, I am gonna have to trim down my frame. Oh, all those nails that I did are for nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take off the plywood, trim down the frame. So I'm gonna have to take off like at least half an inch. And I think I realize what happened, why it's not fitting. So 60 millimeters is like, I don't know, two and a half inches ish. And that's the widest that this will go. And I thought that's around where I was, but I have the adapter on top as well, which is about half an inch, which means I have to take that off of the frame. I am not looking forward to this, by the way. That's okay, here we are. We're gonna make it happen and I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen, but I am certainly gonna try. So it is now much later than it was before. Uh, I had to rebuild the entire frame. The two by twos were just too big, which means I had to rip this thing down, get the nails out. I now have just two nails stuck on the end there. I might put a couple more up here, but now the nails are exposed. They were underneath this, but I already glued this on. So now what I need to do is actually attach this frame. So I'm going to unhook my clamp for just a moment. I'm gonna put it back. Now I'm gonna put this back up. I think that's gonna be close to perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna get my clamp back. Okay, I can do this. So I think I need to take this <coughs> off. <coughs> okay, got the first one. <coughs> How about a bear? <coughs> What's the matters? <coughs> what is your matters? <coughs> okay, it's gonna work. <coughs> yes! It fits perfectly. Oh, thank God. All right, this is now clamped on there. Yeah, let's check the instructions real quick because it's ever so slightly possible that I'm done. All right, so I actually don't have to do any more screws. So that's cool. So now I'm putting on these itty bitty little fastening clips or whatever they're called. It apparently matters where I put them. This makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, the spacing I get, but where, I think it means that I put it on the outside ones, but I'm not totally sure. And I already put them on the inside ones. So I'm gonna remove these and then put it on the outside one because I think maybe that's where it's supposed to go, but I'm not totally sure. So there are some lessons here to learn from me. If you're using the adapter, do not use two by twos. That would be a bad idea. You can also find out from me where these little fastening things go. There needs to be 105 millimeters between each one on what I believe is the skinny side. So about here. Okay. So if this is correct, then it's just right by, there's like a little notch here. So to where if I put it on this outside one, I. I can't go any further over than that. There's like a little notch, a little wall. So if I put it in the center and then on the inside, but against those two walls, then I think that'll actually be correct. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side and then I'm gonna measure uh, the other sides and see if those measurements line up. And those need to be 140 millimeters. Yeah. Okay, cool, good to know. All right, so it looks like they go on the outermost little thingy <laughs> that pops down and then just against the little tabs. Words are hard right now. I am like so exhausted. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing any work at all right now because I'm so tired, but hopefully I'm about to be rewarded.
Oh my God, I can't see this at all. Okay, that sounded promising. That sounded like something attaching. <gasps> like this would fall off like with any excuse but for now it's done all right so I'm not gonna take the wrapping off the top because I still have to seal it and I just can't do that tonight tomorrow I will get the vent installed I was really hoping to get both of these done in the same day but this is just this is awesome all right so I was cleaning up for the night and realized I don't have my butyl tape. I think I left it up here. Question is, did I? Oh, I did. It's over there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <gasps> I've driven around a few places and I am shocked. And it is still here. <gasps> <gasps> 